Hey guys, Silent Seau here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video. Thank you so much for your patience. Finally, we are down to doing Freya's Gacha. I know the Gacha has been out for a few days, but I didn't want to waste too much time creating too many videos. Uh, you know, you guys know that I've got a new full-time job, and it's exhausting, and. Uh, um, quite a bit of time consumption considering that most of my day is gone doing that job so I only got like three to four hours free of my time to do my own personal stuff and that includes YouTubing so <laughs> it's it's tough uh, anyways so let's get down to it let's try to make this video as short as possible and the work is definitely try so first things first let's dive into the brand new missions of um, the culture mixture so today if you restarted the server which is at midnight japan which is at the time that i'm recording this video you probably notice a brand new banner uh, pop up saying that there's you know a brand new section of missions for the culture mixture so yes this is part two so the culture mixture is pretty much the same thing as what the frontier ladies had um, while they were seeing Ikenai Borderline. So this time round, Walkure ladies are here to sing Sayonara no Tsubasa, um, which is of course the iconic Frontier song from the movies. So yes, today's daily mission is just pretty much like the Frontier stuff. You just need a specific diva out of the five ladies to be in the center position and of course to play Sayonara no Tsubasa, the end of triangle sung by Walkure. Um, don't forget you still have to full combo the song so pretty much the stuff is the same so um, just take note that the daily missions require you to have a full combo of normal difficulty or higher depending on which ones you can tackle most of the time I will just recommend you guys to just go for the easiest which is normal because well you technically cannot use the event song to play the ongoing event that's currently going on which is the diva improvement event um, even though you are able to select any song within the song live tab right now but sadly to say um, the deculture mixture song is not available for selection so if you guys want proof of it let's go into the live tab um, so you can see it here under the event uh, Sayonara no Tsubasa and of Triangle is there but however if you go into the event tab itself and if you were to change the song uh, hopefully this video is not copyright strike because of the music so if you want to change the song as you can tell in under the event tab Sayonara no Tsubasa End of Triangle sung by Valkyrie is not here for selection so it's kind of a bummer I really wonder why they didn't include it because it really is kind of a waste of energy to have to play the you know uh, the song separately uh, outside of the event so that's kind of a bummer anyways um, let's break down the rest of the missions if we need to know um, the rest of them are pretty much the same thing so basically just clear let's see what's the highest uh, nominations here um, 25 times Sayonara no Tsubasa and of Triangle just have to clear it 25 times you can use skip tickets to clear this but you know there's always the other portion which requires you to full combo so the max amount of you know plays that you need to full combo is 10 times so if you're clearing the dailies, um, technically let's see how many days they are for this event. So from the 23rd, which is today, um, up to the 5th of April. So how many days are there in March? Let's see. Let's pull up the calendar. So there's 31 days in March. So technically, let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, plus 5 days. So technically, you've got 14 days to you know play this event so every day you just need to full combo once you know so there's no rush to clear this i guess so you just have to skip ticket the rest <laughs> so 15 15 plays you can use skip tickets but you know would you run to waste skip tickets on this uh, I technically wouldn't but you know that there, there are certain days where there is a break from event playing so you can technically use skip tickets on those days to clear this 
So yeah, just pay attention to that um, because I'd rather use the skip tickets to clear the actual event that is currently going on because you know improving divas is actually way more important than clearing this. <laughs> well, weigh your priorities, okay? So for free to play players, just take note of what needs to be uh, done in prioritization. Do you need the rewards from here? I mean, after all, the episode plates here give costume points for the Valkyrie ladies. So if you've not unlocked them yet because you are, are new players, definitely, you know, getting new costumes is more essential. You know, who knows? Um, but, you know, each, each their own. So, yeah, just prioritize whichever is more important to yourself. So that's it for the Culture Mixture Mission Part 2. Hopefully you guys have already cleared all the stuff here in the Frontier one and claim all the rewards because now that's gone. So buy rewards. <laughs> Anyways, let's dive into the gacha page and let's talk about the main lady for the Delta series which is Frey Frey. Um, and she's the only one that has like two other divas joining her in the Evolve illustration. That's pretty strange, you know, no other ladies actually got this treatment. I don't know why she has it, but you know, she seems to be paired with at least the, the three, uh, the two other ladies who seem to be in the, the top running lead in Valkyrie, you know, the usual, the red, the yellow, and the purple. <laughs> Ikumo Kanami, yeah, I've not forgotten their name, it's just that, you know, the iconic three colors. Um, so yeah. Um, so let's talk about the episode plate. Okay, let's dive into the stats here. 3,870 total score for his plus 25 luck value. Without the plus 25 luck value, it actually comes in a pretty decent score. So without his plus 25, it comes in at 3,620, um, which is actually 9 points higher than Kaname's plate that recently just came out. Um, so that's pretty interesting. And Kaname's plate did have a special note attached to it if I recall correctly. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. So Kanami Split does come with the full note. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at Freya and see how she compares with her, well, second in charge or rather her in charge. <laughs> Technically Kanami is the leader for Valkyrie eh, in title, <laughs> but it doesn't seem that way in the shows. Anyways, so the episode plate has a high amount of um, stats for the soul um, and of course voice comes in second place and charm takes a gigantic dive so pretty much similar to Kaname's episode plate center skill as usual it seems like nowadays all the six star episode plates comes with fantastic center skill but like I said if you guys have better seven star episode plates out there there's no reason for you to use this six star episode plates to uh, you know for center skill activation but you know like I said if you guys don't have anything better for center position especially currently with the um, diva improvement event you know because uh, six star episode plates is kind of hard to come by nowadays <laughs> uh, depending on each player's luck you know six star episode plates in center position you know we'll do the trick you know okay um, moving along, active skill, so it does seem to be mimicking Kaname's episode plate in some sense. Uh, it even has that new generation active skill for 5 seconds, your score is boosted by 70% up. Life skill, same thing, short, short duration ability, so this one requires you to have all your favorite divas that are highlighted here. They can use the episode plate, so Freya, Mikumo, Kaname and Cheryl. Uh, as long as your diva's affection levels are maxed out, uh, you know, and you can get your 120% boost in score. That is if their affection levels are maxed out. So make sure you go do that. And last but not least, oh, Freya takes the lead. Oh no, poor Kaname. <laughs> Kaname, like I said, she is technically the title. Um, Valkyrie leader, but you know, ever since the introduction of Freya and Mikumo in Valkyrie's team, Kaname seems to be more of a side character. Um, so I kind of feel sad for her. 
<laughs> um, yeah, so Freya gets the better note attachment, which is the score, um, which is essentially what you need for this current event, especially if you're trying to rank for each of your divas in your collection. So that's kind of a bummer for Konami fans. So is this plate, you know, worth your money? Y yes, sadly to say, because. Like I said previously, it was the first time that this life skill is getting any note attachment to the episode plates. So with now the introduction of the score note attachment to these kind of life skills, Freya's plate is definitely a must to get. Now even though you are not a Freya fan, it is still a must to get. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, but at least for Freya fans, there's one good thing. Her costume is technically given free um, through the event episode plates currently going on right now. So we already have uh, costume points for Freya's uh, brand new costume even if you don't get her featured episode plate. So technically if you guys are not Freya fans and you don't really find yourself needing this episode plate for high score achievements, you know, just use the event tickets, get the free pool done. And that's it. You don't really need to spend singing stones. You just need episode orbs to unlock Freya's costume and pretty much you're good. Uh, you know, unless of course you are a diehard Freya fan, go for it. Your waifu's episode plate is definitely one of the better ones this generation. I don't see any reason why you should hold back unless your wallet is screaming in pain like mine. <laughs> so yeah, so pay attention to that. Anyway guys, that's it for all the information I'm gonna do the usual so since I'm recording after the server reset I'm doing the evening pool um, there's still technically three hours before it resets to the morning pool so let's do this hopefully the night time has some kind of luck oh no luck on a single free pool that's okay I'm just gonna skip this oh low single digits that's fantastic okay Hmm, let's see if I need to pull Super Dimension tickets. Uh, yes, I do. It seems like um, a few of them are going to expire soon. Three of them. So yeah, let's do a template pool here. Let's see. I mean, it would be nice to save the luck for Freya's gacha considering that her episode plate is awesome. So that's kind of a bummer if we do get something nice from this. So, hoping for the worst, I guess. <laughs> Mediocre luck for the Valkyrie animations. Red box on the first bling. Ooh, seems like we're sticking with horrible luck. Okay. Uh, the last video was pretty poorly done, I guess, the luck for that last episode. Uh, we did get some mediocre animations, but the, the pools were just horrible. Um... Even if today's episode does end up horrible, I hope the luck for the upcoming 7 star episode plates will be better. I sent, I don't know, maybe maybe SDF by Cross Minmei might get some love next month. Who knows. After all, next month, uh, the culture mixture is being released. Maybe they might toss in the event song, uh, Do You Remember Love? Um, sung by the Valkyrie ladies and the Frontier ladies. Who knows? I, I sense it's going to be somewhere that direction. After all, it is in, uh, it's considered as a bonus track for the special the culture mixture set. So yeah, anyways, I'll be keeping the guaranteed 5 star ticket for the last video for this month. Yeah, because it's not going to expire till the 25th. And Mikumo's gacha will come out technically tomorrow. <laughs> Whew, talk about tight schedules for YouTubing. Okay, so no gacha luck on a single free pool from the featured plate. Guess we are really moving away from all the single pool luck. I don't know how many more years before I will get that kind of luck again. Wow, 10 plates. Okay, so it's a 4 star, so technically I've already maxed out its um, bonus page. Hmm. Okay. Let's 
do the main pool now. So I'm gonna do the template event gacha ticket pool. I'm gonna try and save as much singing stones as I can uh, for next month. So yeah, like I said, I'm I'm not exactly a big Frey Frey fan, but if I do get the episode played, that would be awesome. If I don't, eventually in the future, maybe I might get it. Who knows? But I'm not in a rush, considering that the costume for Freya is technically given to us free. Like I said, okay, mediocre luck from the animations. Well, three Valkyries. Oh, Rainbow Box. Nice. Oh, two of them. Wow. Okay, a bit of regular Reyna love. Here we go. Some more love. Okay, a bit of depression. <laughs> Puzzleness. Oh, this is gonna evolve. Ooh. Masaka. Oh! Kaname gets some love. That's nice for the actual Valkyrie leader. <laughs> and get a bit of QQ. Q Lulu's love. Oh no, I'm tired. I'm really, really tired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's try and get this done as soon as possible. So here comes the first rainbow box. Okay, it is a Freya episode plate, um, but it's not the main feature one. Technically, this costume is pretty rare as well, considering that uh, it's an illustration by Minorinko. So yeah, the voice actress. Oh! <laughs> I got it! <laughs> I, I really... Ooh, double new Freya plates. Oh, wow. Wow! Okay, so I am technically kind of a step closer to completing the Valkyrie set for the ice skating costume. Well, I don't have Reyna's. I do have 500 singing stones though, so I'm kind of tempted to pull. <laughs> but I need 300 stones for Mikumo's costume. Oh man, that's just... Let's see how things go. Let's wait for Mikumo's gacha to come around and if things go well, maybe if I get costume points from Mikumo's costume, uh, I might just pull Rei Rei's 7 star gacha again with whatever same stones are available because I, I want to complete the set. Um, it's not a difficult set to complete and considering that there's only like two costumes that are locked behind seven star episode plates so yeah so pretty awesome pool double freya bonuses considering that i didn't get the old episode plate right there hmm i wonder if it was any use hmm let's take a look combo bonus yeesh <laughs> oh special note okay that that can be forgiven <laughs> So more episode plates with the item note for the first event of the month or even for resource collection. Um, so that's not too bad. How about Kaname? So Kaname's plate I have plenty. Score and damage. Oh that's not too bad. Yeah. And it's got somewhat of a decent total score. So that's not too bad. Oh wow. This, today's pool is surprisingly miraculous. Okay. So before I leave... Um, I'm sure you guys will have probably played around with the live performance or the S live basically. Um, if you're watching the performance of the diva while playing the song, if you have not turned it off, that kind of stuff, you'll probably notice one special scene. Apparently, they added Papa Max's Duranda <laughs> in the live sequence. So that's pretty nice. So yeah, as you can see on the screen, I've kind of like um, did a small snip bit of the ending portion there. Uh, eventually, if I do get all the Yami Kure costumes, I might do a special edit for this current song. If it does come to Utama Cross in the future, so far, we've not gotten Ikenai Borderline added to the game yet. I guess they are waiting for the, um, the album to release physically in stores first before they add the songs to Utah Macross permanently. So no rush guys, anyways, um, Yami Kure's costume is also equally hard to attain. There's two of them that's locked behind seven stars and I have not gotten a single one of them. That's just horrible. Anyways, um, hope you guys had fun. Hopefully you guys learned a bit about the, uh, the culture mixture missions part two. Um, 
and yeah, get yourself busy, you know, clearing all the events and how trying to power up your favorite waifus or husbandos during this current event itself. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Technically tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe I'll give the episode one day break, you know, to let this episode have a bit of a breathing watch time space. And thank you guys so much. As always, it seems like we're very close to getting um, 700 followers. Or is it 600 on Instagram? And the subscribing count on YouTube is growing as well. 681, if I'm not wrong. Um, the last I checked. So getting closer to that 1,000 subscriber mark. Thank you guys so much. And the watch time and all that has been seriously improving recently. Um, so I guess it's mainly due because of the recent video edit I did for Ikenai Borderline, the Macross Frontier version. So yeah. Big thanks, big love, and as usual guys, thank you guys so much. Make sure you guys leave a like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!